Everything you didn't know about Jimmy Kimmel. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the screening. Jimmy Kimmel is one of the most recognizable talk show hosts in the world, and he's been making us laugh for almost two decades. He's been in the spotlight for so long that it seems like we know everything there is to know about him, but there's still some stuff he managed to hide. Let's take a look at everything you didn't know about Jimmy Kimmel. Before we reveal some of his biggest secrets, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Number 10. Strange Start Have you ever made a phone call before? Jimmy Kimmel repeatedly used his platform to advocate for several marginalized groups, but some people felt he's a phony ally. They believe it's pretty hypocritical of Kimmel to try and act as the nation's moral compass, since there was a time when he also needed some guidance. Long before becoming one of the most recognizable TV personalities on the planet, Kimmel was a star of The Man Show. Welcome back! Once again to the Man Show Laboratorium. A problematic series described as the joyous celebration of chauvinism. This show probably couldn't be made in the current social climate since it comes across as extremely sexist. In addition to showcasing some pretty vulgar humor, it also featured a bunch of half-naked female models and objectified them at every turn. Kimmel's haters felt it doesn't make sense to see him advocating for women, the LGBTQ community, and people of color after starring on The Man Show but he believed it gave him even more credibility, because he's the last person you'd expect to serve as a collective voice of reason. Number 9. Enemy Number 1 This is Jimmy Kimmel Live, and that's an ass face. One of the highlights of Jimmy Kimmel Live and the most hilarious running gag this host ever came up with is his fake feud with Matt Damon. The whole world is aware of their complicated relationship, but most people don't know how it all started. The Emmy-nominated host often ends his show by saying, Our apologies to Matt Damon, we ran out of time. Sincere apologies to Matt Damon, we ran out of time for him tonight, we'll get him on the air again soon. But Kimmel didn't even know the famous actor the first time he uttered these words. When they finally met, Jimmy cleared the air by sharing the origin story behind this running gag with Damon. He had a low moment at the end of an episode after having a ventriloquist and a guy in a monkey suit as guests. He tried to lighten the mood by making a joke about Damon, and his producer loved it so much they just rolled with it. Their running feud gave us several viral clips over the years, and the Born Identity star even hosted the show on one occasion and renamed it to Jimmy Kimmel Sucks. Number 8. Celebrity Feuds Hi, this is Brad Parscale from the Trump Re-Election Committee, and thanks for calling the Donald Trump Presidential Thank You Hotline. But some of his interactions with other celebrities led to real ones. Most of them developed after Kimmel took a more political stance and started attacking the President Donald Trump and people close to him. Things got really heated once he made fun of the First Lady's accent on his show. The Fox News commentator Sean Hannity called him out, and the two exchanged a couple of tasteless texts that could easily end up in the mean tweet segment. Kimmel also isn't on the best terms with Kanye West, and it all started with a seemingly innocent parody of one of the rapper's egocentric outbursts. Kanye Kanye demanded an apology from Kimmel, and that's exactly what he got, but their relationship remained tense. West returned to his show in 2018, shortly after publicly endorsing Donald Trump. But he was lost for words after Kimmel asked him why he thinks the president cares about black people. Number 7. Alter Boy Hi, yeah. God! Hey, Jimmy! I'm sorry, but uh, that was Francis. Most people automatically assume hardcore liberals such as Jimmy Kimmel are usually atheists, since their belief system usually aligns with this ideology. This famous talk show host is an exception to this rule. He was raised in a Catholic household and even served as an altar boy throughout his childhood. Altar servers are usually in charge of assisting the priest during the service by carrying a cross, lighting and holding candles, presenting the priest with a gospel book, and so on. Kimmel probably did all all of this when he was a kid, and it's safe to say he enjoyed the responsibility since he's a devoted Christian to this day. He even defended his Catholic faith after a disgraced Alabama politician Roy Moore attacked him on Twitter. Twitter war with Roy Moore. You know, Roy Moore, this guy who's running for Senate in Alabama, even though multiple women 
Kimmel repeatedly made fun of Moore on his show after the sexual misconduct allegations against him made the headlines. The former Senate candidate accused the host of mocking his Christian values, but Kimmel immediately fired back. He made it clear his faith isn't devoid of morality, since his church taught him it's not okay to hit on underage girls like Moore did. Number 6. Tiny Prankster We want to be very, very careful here. Guillermo, what do you have to drop on Drew? Pranks are one of the most popular segments of Jimmy Kimmel Live, and it turns out the star of this talk show has been pulling them off long before becoming a TV personality. He's been mastering this craft for decades, and his love for practical jokes was born while he was still a kid. According to his childhood priest from Las Vegas, Little Jimmy was constantly pulling pranks on his peers back in the day. Everyone just let it slide because they were never mean in spirit, and it was obvious he just wanted to have fun. Kimmel probably didn't know he'll get to pull pranks for a living a couple decades down the road, but that's what he's doing right now. Jimmy Kimmel Live may be a talk show, but some of its most popular segments aren't conversational. Jimmy took his love for practical jokes to a whole new level on this hit series and often challenged his audience to prank their kids just in time for the holidays. Number 5. Humble beginnings. All right, let me try it. Yeah, you that. try it. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Here. See, I told you he's not hungry. Okay. He's Just like his biggest influences in the world of comedy, Kimmel got his start thanks to radio. He was still in high school when he started hosting a Sunday night interview show on a college radio station. Kimmel used to go through the yellow pages to find people who seemed interesting enough to appear on this show and always had a blast recording it. He went on to become a regular caller on an afternoon show that was pretty popular in his area. Kimmel caught the eye of a radio personality, Kent Voss, and the two went on to host the morning program, The Me and Him Show. They didn't stay there for too long because the station fired them after 10 months. Kimmel and Voss relocated to Tampa, but they were up for another failure. They got the sack once again and Kimmel moved on alone. It took him a while to find success, but his luck turned around once he moved to LA. He spent five years playing Jimmy the sports guy on the popular morning show, Kevin and Bean. Number 4. Cookbook Addict Back in 2013, Jimmy Kimmel shared 25 facts we didn't know about him during an interview with US Weekly. This list featured several pretty hysterical entries because it was written by one of the funniest people in the world after all. Kimmel said he's only getting married because he needs a new coffee maker, described Costco as his favorite place on earth, and claimed Channing Tatum narrowly beat him for the role in Magic Mike. Kimmel also made it clear he's a huge cooking enthusiast, but he took his love for the art of preparing food a little bit too far. The former Oscar host said he owns hundreds of cookbooks and stated he's planning to read some of them one day. Unfortunately, Kimmel never explained why the hell he bought so many, but it's possible he didn't spend any money on his impressive collection. Celebrities are constantly writing their own cookbooks and coming on talk shows to promote them, so it's possible some of them gave a copy to Kimmel as a gift. Number 3. Arts and Crafts Kimmel considered a different career path before giving comedy a shot. He was very passionate about art growing up and often stayed up late drawing for hours and watching Carson and Letterman on a small black and white TV in his kitchen. His love for TV eventually prevailed, but there was a time where he dreamed about becoming an animator when he grows up. Drawing wasn't his only talent, he was skilled with his hands in general. According to his wife Molly McNearney, Jimmy is one of the craftiest people you could possibly come across. He likes making Christmas cards, buying personalized gifts for his loved ones, and transforming his home into a winter wonderland once the holiday season rolls around. McNearney claims he's also an amazing cook, and even made all of her favorite food from scratch on their very first date. Good to know all those cookbooks he owns aren't going to waste. Number 2. Secret Fear 
So this, when did this prank uh, holiday prank thing start? Was it four years ago? Yeah, I think it was like four years ago. Jimmy Kimmel and his neighbor John Krasinski have a holiday tradition of pranking each other. But it's not a mean-spirited one. They are actually on great terms and enjoy going on family vacations together. The office actor discovered Kimmel's biggest fear during their holiday in Mexico after asking him if he wanted to go paddle boarding. It turned out the famous host is scared of the ocean, and he even blacked out from fear during their adventure. He's probably the only person in his family who feels that way, since his parents certainly don't. They would often go on long walks on the California beaches during his childhood and dreamed about living there one day. That dream came true after their son became a successful talk show host with an annual salary of $15 million. He bought them a house on Hermosa Beach so they could grow old walking by the ocean together. Number 1. Family Business for people that don't know, my Uncle Frank is almost mentally retarded. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Almost, yeah. Kimmel may be one of the most successful talk show hosts in the world, but he'll never forget where he came from. Having his own show meant he can hire anyone he wants to, and Kimmel decided to surround himself with the people he trusts the most his family. His cousin, Sal Iacono, became a writer and sketch performer on Jimmy Kimmel Live after proving he has what it takes while working with Jimmy on the game show Win Ben Stein's Money. His uncle Frank appeared on the show on several occasions before passing away in 2011. He had no acting experience when Kimmel asked him to leave his job as a police officer and join the show, but that didn't stop him from becoming a fan favorite. Kimmel's brother, Jonathan, works on the show as a director, while the his son Kevin got a job as a production assistant. Talk about keeping it in the family. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.